It's September 12th. I just presented to an audience at the Real Truth About Health conference in Orlando, Florida. The resistance came as usual from a person who looks a lot like me. He's a climate scientist from London and he just kept asking questions like, why are you such an extremist? Why are you presenting? Why are you cherry picking? only the worst case scenario. Why don't you follow the IPCC's direction? Why don't you quote them? Well, because they're liars comes immediately to mind, although I didn't say that um, because their information is incredibly old and they're, they're too conservative. I didn't say that either. I just asked him to come up with any challenge to essentially anything I presented based on the facts and he couldn't do anything but, but complain that we will figure out a way because we're clever that there's no way we can kill 7.5 billion people. It just can't happen. That we will always have people on the planet. That if we have to move species around, that's what we will do. And so on. Same old nonsense. The rest of the crowd was pretty understanding. I had a lot of people come up afterwards, want to chat, mostly to complain about Mark Maslin, the British climate scientist. I'll be serving on a panel with him and two other people besides the two of us this evening. We'll see how that goes. For the most part though, a shell shocked, although accepting audience willing to take in the evidence I was presenting and figure out where it would lead. That's the general take home from the scenario, even though almost everybody in the audience was new to the notion of abrupt climate change because after all, this is the real truth about health conference. It's not a bunch of people who follow me on a regular basis. These are people who are here for a 10 day conference or at least part of it to learn more about health. So abrupt climate change was new to almost everybody here. That's the trip report from this part of the trip.